Hello, hello, and welcome back. We're doing another mod showcase and behind the scenes, if you will. This one is for my upcoming mod, the Automation Underglow. So we have in here my automation car from the Sleeper Building Race. If you did not watch that, go check it out. Cosmo and I did a building race with Sleeper cars. But we're going to use that, come up here in vehicle config, and under additional modification, you'll see I have all these options. So we can go with blue neon lights. And then if we hit Alt-N, bam. Now you see that the light bars are kind of floating. That's fine, because we can come in here into the tuning and then you can go down to the underneath vehicle advanced settings. We have the different offset options here. So let's see, we want the rear to go further back. All right, the side looked good. And then I'm not sure where the front is, so we're just going to bump the height up so I can see. Okay, the front looks like it's pretty good. So then let's just bring this height down and alt N and there we go. Oh, I went way too low. So obviously there's a little bit of trial and error on getting these values set, but uh, figured this way no matter what your automation vehicle looks like, you'll be able to fine tune it to get it uh, just the way that you want it. Bring this up just a touch more. Now, Alt N and bam. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's great, but I don't want one of those colors. Well, I got you covered there, too. Come back into Parts, and instead of selecting Blue Neon Light, you can click Custom Neon Lights. Now, when you do that, if we pop back into Tuning, in addition to our offsets that we have, we can actually come down here, and we have the Underglow Color. And Underglow Color is just RGB value, 0 to 255. So if you know the exact value that you want, great, you can plug it in. Otherwise, you can just make some adjustments. We'll apply that and then we'll Alt N and bam. You know, maybe you wanna make it different color. We'll go like that. And pretty much any color uh, that your computer can display this can make I mean it's runs the whole gamut now obviously if you go way down with everything it's going to be dim and that's just because your values you're just putting a little bit of each color in there but that gives you plenty of options so Hopefully that's easy enough to understand how to use, and I'll be putting a link down in the description. As of recording this, it's not up on the uh, repository quite yet. It's still awaiting approval. I know they're backlogged after the holidays, but hopefully by the time you see this or shortly after, it will be available for download. Now, I did want to go through and show you a little bit of how this is made so it's very simple there's just one J beam file and one DAE file the DAE is for the actual light bulbs that you saw and that is just a copy of the one that is in the base game and I just brought that into here just in case they change that anytime down in the future I still have access to what I built this around now, in here, we have a different set of, or a different line item for each color. So, you see white, 
red, etc. And it's pretty simple. I mean, we have variables in here for each of the offset values. And so height, width, the front and the rear um, have a starting value. And then I have them all just set from negative 1.5 to 1.5 as your um, as your range slot type cam so mod that is what brings it up underneath that additional mods tab under the parts automation vehicles at least all the current ones i don't know if it's always been the case but the current ones should export with a cam so mod slot by default that is not used and its purpose is for additional modifications so we went ahead and used that for this Flex bodies, these are from the DAE. Like I said, this was a copy of what is in the BeamNG base game. The difference here is under precision, we have variables. So we have the Y variable, which for the front is the front, rear is the rear. Uh, and then we have the Z variable, which is the height. So this is how these flex bodies and the, uh, yeah, how these flex bodies get put into position based off of the variables here. Now, just having the variables up here correctly puts them into this area. And if we scroll over, you can see that it actually has a subcategory underglow color or underglow offset, which is this right here. So that's how you change that. And you can also change what the main category is. I just use the vehicle advanced settings that's already in there. Then we have the glow map. So glow map, this is just copied right off of the existing ones from BeamNG basically says what color the glow is going to be uh, from the on the flex body etc and under props here is the light color this is actually the light that gets put out onto the ground so so the other thing I did is I have the underglow tied into existing nodes to for the uh, props uh, to be able to give it where it goes. So these nodes, from my experience, are always in the same location on automation vehicles. So it should work. If it doesn't work for you, this is where you would be able to change to your specific nodes, or if you want to modify this, that's where you would do it. Now that is basically just copied for every color. And the only difference is I added in a custom color at the end. So the custom neon lights, exact same thing, except we added in three more variables, the glow light red, green, and blue values are zero to 255. Uh, I set the default as 255, so the default for all of them on is white. And then under the props uh, for a light color, I just put in the red value is the red variable. Same with the green, same with the blue. And that is as, that's it. That's as simple as it was. And now should be able to use this on any automation vehicle or any other vehicle that you make that has a camso mod slot and as i said you just need to go in and adjust the layout of the actual lights themselves and other than that it's good to go so Hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of A, how to use the mod, and B, how the mod was created. I'm always looking to create mods. I find it really fun, even if sometimes it can be a bit challenging. 
So if you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas, let me know. I am not an expert at this, so there's no guarantee I'll be able to do it, but I'll gladly attempt things and learn in the process. And I like sharing it with you. Hopefully you enjoy it as well. If you do, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out some of the other vehicles. Don't forget to take a look at the sleeper build and race if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed this and have a good one. Peace.